order the numbers from the smallest value to the largest value. So the key here is to convert the mixed radicals to entire radicals so that we can compare these properly, especially if we don't have a calculator. If we had a calculator, we could simply convert all of these to decimal places, but let's uh, try this without a calculator. This here is a negative number, so it's gonna remain negative. I'm just gonna focus on the actual number part. So we know the story here. This is a index two jail, it's assumed. And we have the three out here. So to go backwards, we have three times three. And then we also have a two there. So this here is equal to negative. Three times three is nine, times two is 18. And over here, we have the square root of nine. And over here, we have the square root of, the two is out here, so to go backwards, we have two times two times three, which is equals to four times three is 12. And then finally, this here is a negative sign, that's a negative. And then for the two to go back into the, underneath the radical symbol, we have two times two, and the seven was already there. So this is equals to negative square root of two times two is four, four times seven, is 28 and so now we can order these a lot better so negative root 28 looks like the smallest on the number line then we have a negative root 18 and then we have a root 9 and then we have root 12 this is the order so when we look at this we're looking for the smallest the smallest value the smallest value is the one that, which is most negative it's going to be this one here 4 4 first, and the only ones with 4 are C or D, and negative root 18 is over here, which is number 1, which is both of these, and then finally, root 9 was choice number 2, so choice C is correct because 2 is there.